Hi, this is DJ DP again, just following on from the last video with the new version of Record Box 4.0.6. Uh, just got to try and set up the Tractor Control X1 as a new MIDI device within here. Now, at the moment in time, when you go into the MIDI section, got connected devices, and I've only got me DJM 900 and DJJ SP1. As soon as I plug this USB in, the X1 flashes. Make sure it is set on MIDI mode, shift and hot Q. Green light comes on. Now go back into here and go to connected devices and XP the X1 appears. Now because there's no settings in there at all for it, it's a completely new device, there's nothing in MIDI whatsoever. So what we need to do is click on to add. And in this case, well, sorry, I'll go back to so FF, FX, because it's pretty much an FX unit. Go to FX, click on add, and we want FX on. Click on to that and it comes up with a blank MIDI section. Click on learn and click on that. Now it comes up now that it's a button. No deck because it's a universal thing and click off learn. Now hopefully I press that so I'm pressing that button on and off and now the first FX is going on and off. Next one, go to add, level depth, click on learn, and twist the dry wet knob all the way to the left, all the way to the right, and click learn, and now when I do that, all the way left and right, it moves the first effects, so on, off, wet, dry, and continue doing this, same again, click add, select up, so this means you change the actual effect that's been selected, click on learn, and in tractor this is shift and the button, press that, it has learnt that, and click that, so now I select shift and the button, and as you can see, the effects changes to suit. Now, this is a long going process, which I'm sure a lot of people won't be bothered doing, but I think in the next few months, you'll see full MIDI mappings of all these, because you can then export it out and save it wherever you want, desktop, so on and so forth. I've started doing this one, and I've just saved it in my music under Pioneer, and I've got a MIDI mapping section which is a CSV file, save that. And you can build it up, do a little bit of time, and then go from there. And then hopefully when these all come freely available, you just go into import, import a new one from scratch. So in this case, I don't want to say, import a new one from scratch, so I should be able to go into my music, Pioneer DJ, uh, MIDI mapping, click on that one, which I did earlier, and now it's come up with everything I did earlier. So, Hopefully this should be nice and simple, but obviously a long going process.